How's it going lads? Marshall here. Welcome back to another review on the channel. Now around me might look different because we've got a brand new overlay. Gonna be explaining how all this works during the review, the video and stuff like that as well. Because you see each of those side panels, they pop out mate, they pop out. Uh, I've animated some so they actually do pop out on the screen uh, when we talk about them. So that'll be fun. Guys, tonight we have a brand new promo. It's Future Stars. This will be our first Future Star review on the channel. Remember, we're going to do pretty much the majority, if not all, of the Future Stars. It's just the first edit with brand new overlays, like uh, I've had dear two in the past. Always take the longest. So, uh, yeah, I do apologize for that. But we're going to go through... Mr. Arta Cabral. Now, Cabral was signed by Fiorentina. I think it was from FC Ball. Uh, is, was it like one of the replacements for Vlahovic? I believe so anyways. Who, by the way, it was also in this promo. It's got high medium work. It's six foot one, three star skills, a four star weak foot. Some decent attributes. I've got to say, in game, I don't think I've seen each and every single one of these attributes come to light. Unfortunately, remember lads, if you do enjoy, make sure you drop a like on the video, that would be sensational. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here and leave a comment in the comment section below. Your thoughts on Cabral and who you want to review next on the channel. Now you might be wondering, where's the price, Marshall? What's the price? I will start off by saying the price is far too much. Simply far too much. I think in terms of like even Serie A strikers, I think we've had better value SPCs. Uh, a striker as well in that position. So it'll be very interesting what you guys think the price, but personally, I don't like it. And you might be wondering, where's the price on the screen? It's literally about to pop up, guys. In three, two, one. Did it pop up? There it is. Uh, it's 175 to 185. And you might be wondering, what does that mean? That's basically the price kind of circle between uh, the two consoles. So it's the minimum on the Xbox or PlayStation and the maximum on Xbox or PlayStation. Uh, PC. It goes up, down, and all around, so it's very hard to see the price on P PC. But judging by that price, guys, it's a very costly SBC. 175 and 185 for someone with three star skills? I don't know, man. It, it, just, it was a little bit of a weird one. A little bit of a weird one. It actually felt weird completing this SBC. Now, in terms of chem style, we used to hunt a chem style. Boost the acceleration and sprint speed to 99. Does he feel 99 acceleration? A 99 sprint speed. No chance. No chance. No chance whatsoever. He's got 99 finishing with the chem style as well. Does it feel like 99 finishing? No chance. And we'll show you examples during the gameplay as well. Decent stats across the board, including the dribbling. Even though he's got 85 dribbling, his agility looks good. His reactions look good. Composure. It's on the low side. 95 strength, 96 jumping, decent stamina, 87, 96 head and accuracy. And he does have the power header traits, which a lot of strikers on this game do not have. So that's a perk in itself, because if you ever feel like a cross uh, and he does get his head on the ball, it should be fairly accurate. And he was winning a lot of goal kicks, stuff like that. So what we're going to do with the flare trait as well is get in the gameplay, see how you well, perform for myself in game, and have a look. He's pros, he's cons, and everything in between. Let's get in the gameplay. So here we go, lads, into the gameplay. Now, I'm not going to, like, beat around the bush or anything like that. Tonight, and today for that matter, even on stream, was my worst night on FIFA in some time. With my worst day on FIFA in some time, everything I did on this game, today and tonight, irritated me. And it wasn't just me. It was just the game irritating myself, which I always say, don't let it get you too much. And for that reason, I stopped my stream. I didn't want you guys to see uh, it irritating me, basically. Plus... If I do get irritated, I'd rather not let anyone else see. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, when I watch something, whether it be a stream, whether it be a video, or I want upbeat content. I don't want to see negativity for the sake of negativity. And that's what I was going to bring today. But uh, we've decided to do this off stream. So that's why you're seeing this post gone right now. I'm going to see what Cabral has to offer. Now, his movement's good. His movement's good. He gets into positions nine times out of ten, right? We'll put him in striker. He is a striker. And his high mediums do get him into a lot of these kind of positions where he can't score. Nice little finesse into the bottom corner right there from Arta Cabral. It's just, it isn't always amazing. Now, I'm seeing this, right? And you guys are like, what does that mean? With a finish, he goes to 99 finishing. How can it not always be amazing? This times where he has a very, very, very easy chance and he messes up. You see, I'm in foot champs here as well. Uh, we mix between foot champs and division rivals, so you guys could get basically a look at him in both competitions. You can see that, by the way, everyone's always wanted uh, to see the time, the minutes, and the scoreline, and the game mode, etc., etc. And now you can see that as well. If we do get a chance, 
Should probably be scoring that, lads. Should probably be scoring that. Now, on the left-hand side, you can see he's got a four-star weak foot. Great. Fantastic. But he still should be scoring that opportunity. Three-star skills. Does that affect the cards? Personally, yes. Uh, with 91 agility, even like the ball control, reactions and acceleration and whatnot, four-star skills would have dynamically improved this card to a level where he just doesn't perform at right now. Because with that, nice little double tap pass for Smith Rowe right there, he's got the strength, he's got the aggression, he's basically got the frame to hold off any owner while doing a stop and turn or a four-star skill move or anything in between. And that would be fantastic, apart from he doesn't have it. So he's got three star skills, instantly kind of limits the card right there, just like puts a full stop uh, after his skill moves. Uh, nice little chip by Cabral there into the back of there. So honestly, he will get in positions to score, but on a, it, it's, it's very frustrating. Because if you want a striker that will score nine times out of 10, this guy kind of scores 50-50. He'll score sometimes, and then he'll miss sitters. And I'm gonna showcase that uh, without this one, honestly. There's what I stop saying honestly, Marshall. There's one chance in this game. This actually might be it. Uh, I, I do a through ball, right? And uh, always, always, I was going to say honestly again. Always, I score these. The, the kind of double tap pass through balls and then first time hit in the direction the ball's going. It always nestles in the bottom corner. For some reason, it didn't this time with Mr. Cabral. This isn't the effort. This is an effort from 30 yards. Uh, just going wide. Now, his shot power is good. You can see that amongst the pros. We've got more pros and cons now than ever before as well. Uh, this is a chance, boys. That's bread and butter. Should be back of the net. Left foot, right foot, I don't care. Two star, five star, I do not care. That should be in the back of the net. Because it is in the back of the net. With any other straight reviews in this game, uh, given that opportunity. And with Cabral not finishing that, I have to question his shot accuracy and consistency. That's why you see that amongst the cons. Three star skills in there as well. And long shots. I didn't get on with his long shots too, too much. See there, a power header. Good save by the keeper. Accuracy, yeah, a little bit off. And uh, this one as well. How this doesn't go over the line, I will never know. But that's what we're going to do now is jump in the summary, summarize the card, and give you my overall thoughts. So there we have it then, lads. That was Arte Cabral. Interesting, very interesting. Why, by, by the way, the team that you see right now is not the team I started with tonight. Honestly, like, I've said it again. Today just hasn't been a good day for me. I don't know whether it's mentality. Just everything is irritated to me today, and FIFA is no exception to that. I think I, I, I went outside earlier, I stood on a leaf. A bloody leaf, boys! It irritated me. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with me today. It must just be one of those days everyone gets in, tomorrow will be better. But uh, even with Cabral, boys, I couldn't just play the three games, four games. I played seven. Seven. Because I, I wasn't sure whether it was me, whether it's a game, or anything in between. So I literally put them to... Uh, a test over seven games in different teams and different formations and a number of different styles to play, whether it be target man, whether it be getting behind the fence. I tried it all, man, tried it all. Uh, for the price that he's at, no shot. No shot is he worth this at the price he's currently at. Three star skills, that's a no bueno for many people on this game, let alone 175k worth of player on this game. And then these stats, they don't translate over into game. You've seen the finishing. Do you honestly reckon that was 99 with a chem style? No. Especially that one. Actually, he had a, a few moments. The volleys, uh, the 1v1s. Normally, the near post on that 1v1 does go in. Uh, the through ball with the double tap, where all you need to do normally with strikers is literally kick it in the direction it's going in, unless we're in the bottom corner. But no, he put it wide. That's his weak foot. What's his weak foot? Four star. It should be good enough. But unfortunately, with Cabral. Everything that his stats suggest, he just isn't it. Now, if you're looking at his agility, right? If you're looking at his balance, reactions, and dribbling in general, you might think, oh, dribbling-wise, that'll be sensational. He doesn't feel 91 agility. He doesn't feel 90 reactions. It's a very interesting card, this, given that he lives up to basically none of his stats. He is strong. Of course he's strong. He's 95 strength, 82 aggression, and you might be saying, oh, look at the stats. He's also six foot one, lads. He should be strong regardless. And of course, his body type and whatnot. Overall, I was quite disappointed with the card, boys. Quite disappointed with the card. If I was to compare him to anyone within that division, probably the Vlahovic player of the month. Which, by the way, can score goals. It's just not a fun card to use. Whereas the future stars, Vlahovic, he's got four star, four star. So I'm looking at, kind of looking forward to see how much better that card is. But it'll, it'll be there for all to see as well. Overall, 
I'm just quite disappointed. So in three, two, one, bang. Oh, I, I like that, bang. Uh, you'll see the enjoyment rating, the overall value for coins as well. And uh, the big number, the 8.2 that you see, is his overall rating. He was nothing special. Nothing special. Uh, Future Stars for me is always my favorite promo of the year. Uh, I, I still think he's got bags of ability, bags of ability. I just think this SBC set it off on the wrong foot in terms of the SBC quality. Stat wise, looks quality in game, doesn't perform to that quality. Also, the free start limits the card massively. And overall, it was quite a disappointment for myself. As you do see by the 8.2 overall rating, I still believe he's got quality. I still believe he can get some results. I just don't believe he's at that level where you must do this SBC, especially for that price as well. We'll get into that in just a second. The enjoyment rating, as you can see on the left of the number, it's it's a little bit small, so I might have to enhance the size of that. Please let me know in the comments. This is just like a, a test run of the brand new overlay. Overlay, overlay, the brand new overlay. The overlay, the enjoyment is an eight. I don't even know if he deserves an 8.2. But yeah. 8.2 enjoyments, it was, it was okay in certain spells, but he was more frustrating than anything else. So it's a, for me it's an average rate, 8.2, 8.2, but this card should be performing way above average. So it's a way above, it's, it's an above average card, but it should be way above the above average card, <laughs> if that does make sense. It makes sense in my head, um, but I don't know how I've translated that across in words. Sometimes I don't get what I feel inside out. English, yes. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is that sometimes I, I say things, wh which I mean, by the way, completely mean. I just can't explain it to the fullest. The words don't come to my brain for some reason. And the value for coins, absolutely horrendous. Horrendous in my eyes. 175 the minimum you're gonna pay for this card in terms of the SPC. 185 on the PlayStation and Xbox is the max. No, nah, nah. Can't get on board with that. 6.4 is what he's getting in that category. It's just not good enough. Not good enough. Um, way, way too overpriced. But, with that being said, please let me know your thoughts of the price, the card in general, and everything in between in the comments section below. But I've had a lot of fun editing this uh, this review tonight. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure you leave a like on the video. Let me know your thoughts and the feedback upon uh, the overlay. It, it pops out, mate. It pops out. I like the popping out feature. But guys, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, what was the final score? I was watching Middlesbrough Manchester United. It was 1-1 going to like the last five minutes. So uh, I, I've actually knocked it off now. So I'm going to go check the score. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have had a great day. Lots more Future Stars content coming your way. You even see some on the screen, man. Damsgaard, Smith Rue. Uh, who's down here? Uh, we've got Cunha, we've got Jao Pedro. All those reviews will be coming to the channel. The only reason this is up late tonight is because we've edited basically a brand new overlay. But thank you very much for watching. Like, a comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.